Hey guys, it's Kayla and today I'm going to show you some advanced tricks you can use in comedy world to make weirder faces for almost anything. Canadian Scout already did a very good video on this, but we're going to show a few things and ideas he might not have included. Anyways, let's get started. First of all, you already know that Gonamate's facial expressions are basically always the same. They're not bad, but some videos call for more unique expressions. Like if I saw my dad falling while ice skating, that would be really really funny, and I would laugh at him, much like this. Hi 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 It works, but sometimes you need to have more emphasis on laughing. Like if my dad fell off a cliff while ice skating, then I would be really laughing. Hi 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 Now I bet you're wondering how I did that, mixing crying eyes with a happy mouth. Well, I'm actually a stunt double. And I'm the real Kalu. I was just on lunch break. Anyways, the best technique for good faces is to make multiple versions of your character to use. First, one with just a mouth and nose. You can use this character for mouth expressions like chewing, smiling or gritting their teeth. The next step is to make a character with only eyeballs and eyebrows. Make sure their facial features are way above their body, then you can align the eyes with the mouth only character you made. My advice is to make a good camera shot for the scene you want to use your advanced character combo in. Try not to let the second body get in frame or else it looks weird. My other advice is unless you're really good at syncing everything up, don't bother using this trick for action scenes. The two animations can go off time and look really weird. Your mileage may vary of course, but I just find it too much of a chore to have to keep aligning everything perfectly. But now for something more interesting, even more advanced facial tricks. We already know that unpairing the eyes and mouth gives you more flexibility, but what about the eyebrows? Once again, you need to make the characters for mouth and eyes, but this time, make yet another character that is only eyebrows. Make sure these are aligned in the right way so that they look just like your static character. If it's tricky, put the static one next to the combo character, then you can make sure everything is spot on, or at least good enough. If you need to make really small adjustments, use the arrow keys to move things pixel by pixel. Okay, so now we have separate eyes, mouth and eyebrows. What does that mean? Even more advanced expressions. They can get pretty weird too. The best expressions come just from experimenting with these techniques, so get out there and see what kind of things you can do. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to run away from here as fast as possible. <laughs> 